गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू लेट एस लुक एट अ जे ई क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम नाइनटीन देर आर टू गन्स ऑन टॉप ऑफ अ हिल विच इज टेन मीटर्स हाई ईच गन फायर से शॉर्ट विथ अ स्पीड ऑफ फाइव रूट थ्री मीटर्स पर सेकेंड वन गन एट एन एंगल सिक्सटी डिग्रीज विथ हॉर्जोंटल एंड द अदर हॉर्जोंटली दीज बोथ शॉर्ट्स कोलाइड एट पॉइंट पी एज शोन सो लेट एस हैव अ लुक एट द स्कीमेटिक now he is asking us to find the time interval between these firings so let us have a look once more at the schematic so we can see that this has started off a little early and then after some time uh, this cannon has started firing so what he is asking us is the time interval between the firings of these both cannons so let us say the shots from the red cannon takes time t to reach point p and shots from the black cannon take time t dash to reach point p the coordinates of point p is x comma y and let us take the coordinates of the cannon as origin we are assuming the x and y directions like this so positive x is in this direction and negative x is in this direction positive y is in this direction and negative y is in this direction so if the shots from both the cannons collide at point p then their horizontal and vertical displacements are equal so for each horizontal and vertical displacements we'll write the equations so first let us write for the horizontal direction so we are writing this equation for the black cannon so displacement in the x direction is x initial coordinates are 0 comma 0 final is x comma y so the displacement in an x direction is x in horizontal direction there is no acceleration so we are writing this as 0 initial velocity in the x direction is 5 root 3 meters per second which we can now see here and the time taken for this to reach point p is t dash which we have taken here so writing the equation in x direction so we can write displacement in the x direction equals to ux into t plus half ax into t square displacement in the x direction is x ux is 5 root 3 and time is t dash ax is 0 so this whole term becomes 0 let us write the equation in x direction for the red cannon so displacement in the x direction for the red cannon is also the same x so it is initially here finally it is here so x acceleration in x direction is 0 initial velocity in x direction is 5 root 3 cos 60 you can just have a look here so this is 5 root 3 cos 60 and the time taken is t which we have assumed initial so let us write the equation in x direction so again displacement in x equals to ux t plus half ax t square we have substituted these values from here and we get x equals to 5 root 3 cos 16 into t now as x is same in these both equations 1 and 2 we can equate these both so have we have equated these two equations and we have got 5 root 3 t dash equals to 5 root 3 into cos 60 is 1 by 2 into t cancel out this 5 root 3 5 root 3 and we have got 2t dash equal to t next let us write the equations in y direction so if you look at the displacement in y direction its initial y coordinate is 0 final y coordinate is y so displacement in y direction is y initial velocity in y direction it is the velocity of this shot is perfectly horizontal so initial velocity in y direction is 0 acceleration in y direction is g see we are taking a downward of y as positive so i am putting a positive g the time is t dash so writing the equation in y direction so sy equals to uyt plus half ayt square we substitute these values and we get y equals to half g t dash square let us write the equation in y direction for the red cannon so displacement in the y direction 
is initial coordinate 0 final coordinate y so y initial velocity is in the y direction is phi root 3 sin 60 and because it is upward upward y is negative so we are putting a negative sign here acceleration in the y direction is g and time is t so in the y direction sy equals to uit plus half a by t square substituting these values sy is y u y is minus 5 root 3 sin 60 and sin 60 is root 3 by 2 i have just put that here plus half g t square so equating 4 and 5 because the y displacements are the same so we have equated both the equations and uh, we also have got t equals to 2t, 2t dash by equating the x displacements so we will put that in this equation here we can cancel t in this equation and we will get it as a single variable t is a single variable in this equation after we solve it we get t equals to 2 seconds and t dash is 1 seconds the time difference between firing of both the canons will be t minus t dash so this is equal to 1 second let us have a look at the schematic once again